Hey what's up guys, Alone here. So if you've watched my other videos where I speak about from bronze to silver or silver to gold, I usually talk about the most common and uncommon things to see in these tiers. For example that people don't punish for bad positioning as much as on the higher tiers or that everyone is playing Junkrat on lower tiers which rarely happens in the higher tiers. I want to make this video a bit different and instead talk about what my best tips are to climb from gold into platinum as I once was a gold player myself for a while in season 2. I placed in platinum that season but then dropped to 2.2k SR and was stuck there for a bit and I had a hard time getting out. So in this video I will talk about the three main significant things I am way better at now than back in the days when I was stuck in gold and that makes gold really easy for me now to climb out of. My first advice is to know your limits. What I mean by that is there might be a juicy moment where there are four people lined up for you to dash through as Genji but unless you know that you can get a Saria shield and escape with that or that your dash will kill someone and you would get a dash reset to run away with you might be trading your life for a few alt percentages which might lead to your team losing a fight because you're one man down. Dying is the absolute worst thing possible in Overwatch and lower ranked players don't take it as serious as it should be taken. Think about it as this, if you die you might be wasting an overall 20 to 30 seconds of time on the clock for your team which could lead to a loss in the end if it's a really close game and you dying multiple times could drag it over to a minute or even two minutes and that is on you if you die all the time. It could actually waste even more than 20 to 30 seconds because your team might go in 5 versus 6 without you in a team fight. They all die and they all waste that much time respawning and getting back to the fight. So you dying in a bad time can really cost the game. Of course in every single game you will most likely have deaths but the higher elims to death ratio you can have the better and the more games you will win and even if that means you will have to play a bit more careful. Over to my second tip which is simply play what you are best at. I don't mean that even if you have no healers you should pick whatever you want and ignore playing as a team, that will definitely lose you more games than it wins you. What I mean is try to speak to people and try to get them on characters that allow you to play your best character if you really really think you are going to carry as that character and that goes for them as well if you see that they on their career profile main for example a Farah, then try to get them on Farah. it will help you win games immensely if they really don't cooperate at all and just pick whatever they want see if it's still possible to play your best character in that comp or your second best character and just go with that a so-called meta setup isn't really needed at this rank or even high ranks than gold, but if you're better than most gold player as a character, your main that is, then you should try to play that character as much as possible and you should climb steadily. So what is my last advice? Well, it's not really something I did this time, but try to play with a friend. Find a duo partner that works well with what you're playing. If you main soldier, then Ana or Mercy works great, as you can nano boost the soldier or damage boost with a Mercy beam, along with keeping him alive during his ultimate. If you happen to be a healer main then try to find a good DPSer like a Genji, Pharah or Soldier or maybe a Roadhog that's a really strong carry character as well. Overall if you just face anyone or play with someone random that plays a character that works well with what your main is and you think that they're performing really well on that role then add them and ask to play with them, communicate with them and try to set up combos. So from my experience it's actually fairly rare from gold to platinum to see these ultimate combos such as the Saria Graviton into Tracer Bomb or a Genji ultimate or the soldier plus nano boost combo and when I did ask for it when I played those characters from our Ana or our Saria it did actually usually happen but due to the fact that most people don't ask for these combos they just never really happen so if you do find a partner to do those combos with and you can really clearly communicate every time that's going to help you a lot. There's obviously a bunch of other things that made it easier for me to climb out of gold this time compared to back in the days mechanical skill and overall stronger game knowledge but in a soon to come video where I go from platinum to diamond I will cover these points in a bit more in depth. If that sounds interesting to you then make sure to like the video and subscribe to know when that video is out. So for now thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one guys. Take care.